cleverest, most cunning share shootout in a very long time, where our stock pickers have been immensely strategic in the shares they've picked. Have they been as strategic, however, in the stocks they've accepted? That is the big question for us this evening. Before the break, Clive and Sasha each gave us two of their stock picks. Let's have a look at what Clive's were first. His first pick this evening was Sibanya Gold, but it was a short on Sibanya. Sasha went, thank you very much. I'll take that with both hands. Who wants to go long on a gold stock anyway? He wants to own the gold stock, so he would accept the short on Sibania Gold. Stevenuti stocks, not Sasha's favourite sector at all. He avoids the sector altogether. If you forced him to pick a mid-sized construction company, it would be Stevenuti stocks, but he shot it down anyway because he's not very nice. Then, Sasha Nagushkin from Vestact, uh, two picks, long on Tiger Brands. Clive laughed at that and said he doesn't like the management team, not person, nothing personal, um, but the, the strategy of the management team at Tiger Brands and wouldn't go anywhere near Tiger Brands. Mediclinic, however, he thought, well, that's not a bad pick, even though it's trading close to record levels. It's growing at earnings. Uh, it's growing its earnings at 20% uh, per year. It's trading on a multiple of 20 times. You can take that kind of risk on Mediclinic. Before I get to Sasha's final pick, yes, because it's cunning and yes. it's devilish, but so is his. Yes, because I want to see how you argue. I just want to know who's Baldrick in all of this <laughs> about going long on pick and pay. Because he's not going long on pick and pay, he's going short on pick and pay in 30 seconds. Strategically, very brilliant um, uh, uh, pick and pay, fantastic PE ratio, good price to go in at the moment, very nice. Story is fantastic and I think with the um, increasing middle class in South Africa, I'll say black because I'm BE accredited. So <laughs> if you take that into consideration in the multiples of that, people would like to have themselves with pick and pay um, packets, plastic, plastic bags, rather than Woolies because it's too expensive or ShopRite which is too cheap. So middle class, fantastic story. Okay, why are you going short it? I'm going short at it for the following reasons. Because it's good price at the moment and everybody's dragging it because they've not seen it see any value. So everybody's dumping the stock actually at the moment. Okay. So he's going short mm -hmm. on pick and pay. Mm -hmm. Hard to argue against that one. Except when you compare it to some of the other retailers in the broader space. Um, you're talking about global retailers, you're not talking about local retailers. I am, I am. Okay. And that does interestingly I mean, the, the one part which I think they've never managed to sort out, and which is why it has probably been a laggard, is the fact that the founder does come into the office every single day. Team, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also um, the shareholding structure. Remember that? Through Pickwick, Through which Pickwick. owns 51%. So the family like owns 50 plus one of Pickwick, and Pickwick owns um, half of that. Mm -hmm. So they're able to get the voting structure in their favor. I mean, I guess you could argue that the turnaround strategy um, is in place. The challenges, though, are operational rather than shareholder structure challenges. Mm -hmm. yes. and now they've got Richard Brasher in, the guy from Tesco in the UK, mm -hmm. who didn't deliver the most spectacular first set of results, but I suspect that's quite strategic as he tidies Shame, up the bits Bruce, and pieces. What oh. were they down by? But it doesn't matter. It was his first set of results. Okay. Uh, what fine. are you, a wizard? <laughs> but, 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 I yes. think I'm actually going to agree with him. I'm actually going to agree. You're accepting. So wait, wait, wait. Now let me tell you why. Because I think he'll accept my last one. I know. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. So, so for the purposes of playing this game, I think I'm actually going to accept it. The reasons being is how do you turn this business around? Yeah. You spend a lot of money. Yeah. So you get... Shareholders who are your, not your patient. returns are delayed into the Correct. future, and you Correct. get an expensive CEO. Yes. <laughs> well, let's see if he's worth the bucks they're paying him. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I'm looking forward to meeting Richard Brash one of these days. So you're accepting the short on pick and pay. Have you ever on the basis that I think he's going to accept my last one? You better be hoping. Oh yes. dear. Are you then accepting two of his picks? Yes. Have you ever done this before on the show? No. In all of your eighth, now your ninth appearance on Share Shootout. Have you ever done this before? No. You're that confident that he's going to have absolutely no choice but to pick your final, oh, your, your, accept your final pick. I think so, yes. Okay, well, we're going, well, down, I'm not to confident. The we're going down to the wire. We're going down to the wire. So let us put poor Clive Ramatebella smith from Kunzi Investments out of his misery. Or should we draw it out longer? In 30 seconds, a short yes. on Harmony Gold. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, gold production essentially is down 70% over nine years. The brand gold price is up four and a half times, but so are their costs. So their cost base is ever increasing. Ounces are getting deeper, darker, more dangerous to reach. I don't, again, buy the long-term gold story. 
as a result of a world financial world crumbling. If anything, we're getting better and unfortunately they're going to come under pressure with more and more marginal mines. Okay, so there we go, we're short on housing. Now, is it possible, because you can hear the cogs in his head turning, is it possible to go short on Sibanye gold for all of the reasons you stated, which yep. it sounded a little bit like an echo <laughs> on the side. <laughs> is it possible to argue a long position for Harmony it's Gold? credibility. Or <laughs> do you accept that he is right? I'm going to say no. Oh. I'm going to say no, and this is the reason why. I think the structure the, the within the business is not correct. I don't think they've gone into the right uh, pit holes to go into into mine into gold mining. I don't think I think it's getting more and more expensive for them to actually extract the stuff. So you agree with it? the ground. <laughs> You're agreeing with him. <laughs> I I hope I don't sound double tongued, but I'm thinking that if 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 for anything is for the short for the short term, uh, then I will concede for the short term. Okay, so you're accepting he's short then. I'm just going. Yeah. I'm, I'm just struggling to, to read between the lines. He speaks yeah. like a politician, does I? I am a politician. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something about you with a red tie oh um, that I was suspicious of. So you're accepting then the short on harmony? Uh, sh short, if it's called a short, then yes, because I do have Sabanya as short as well. But I'm worried about the structure of the business in harmony. I don't think. I don't think. I think it's it's, it's expensive, first and foremost, and I don't think that. It's something that I would want short now in my stock. But the story that he's telling definitely makes sense to me. You don't want to short it, but you're accepting his short. I am accepting for the reasons that he's given. Okay, all right. This puts me in a really interesting position because I've not ever been in a position before yeah. where we come toward the end of the show and we've got two guys who've each picked two of the other person's shares. So I think we need to do something innovative. Give me another pick off the top of your head. Yeah. Give me another pick off the top of your head. Any. Any, any, any anything. Anything. Absolutely anything. Uh, ARM. ARM. African Rainbow Minerals. Yeah. Going long on African Rainbow Minerals. Going long. In 12 seconds. Why? Because I love the story. I love the fact that they've diversified the, 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 uh, the structure and the management is very strong. And I believe in the next 12 to 18 months that they That's will do very well. Would you accept African Rainbow Minerals long? No, because I don't think it's diversified. Enough. If you take a yes. closer look, um, mm. you'll find It's inadequately diversified. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you're shooting it down. Well, I have to. We're playing a game here. Okay. Yes. Off the top of your head, Sasha Lurishkin, in 12, maybe 15 seconds, give me another pick. Well, I'm going to, for the purpose of this, go in the same sector to make it fair. So, <laughs> BHP Billiton, because of their energy assets, they trade, I think, at a very fair multiple relative to the rest of the sector. And they're number one in my books in terms of quality. Would you accept a uh, session of Riskin's BHP Bulletin book? Is it possible to shoot down BHP Bulletin, which he calls a fair pick? Oh, Street Fighter par excellence. <laughs> it's very difficult to shoot that one down. So I do concede. It's so a very, very good stock. So BHP Bulletin, company tip. So you've accepted it? I have accepted it. Which then by default means? She was my out. On your first outing. <laughs> Hopefully one day when you get your dignity back, but your street fighting strategies yeah. have been admirable. Yeah. I've thoroughly enjoyed having you on the show. But Clive Ramatibela Smith from Nkunzi Investments, by default only, because yeah. I would rather have kicked him out. <laughs> I'm afraid you have to go. That was the biggest share shootout conundrum we've ever had to face. Two individuals picking two of their op opponents' picks. It went kind of crazy toward the end. So we had to then have the default. We had the share shootouts shootout. Remember, we're hosting a grudge battle of stock pickers next week. That's what we're going to be doing. Because Nick Norman Smith, I wanted to call your battle a couple of weeks ago with Nick Norman Smith a tie. My producers overruled me. I tried to say, I no, you're wrong, producers. Mm. You were right. Yes. So next week, I'm going to put you against Nick Norman Smith. Yes. No relation to Clive Ramitibella Smith. Not. No. No relation whatsoever. I can hear an echo from space. We'll join us again next time on CBC Africa on Tuesday for the most vicious stock picking show on TV. You can watch the show here on CNBC Africa. You can follow us on Twitter. Just use the hashtag SSO. Do let me know if I made the right decision kicking one Smith out so we can get another Smith in next week. If you don't agree, blame my producers. If you do agree, sing my praises. Tweet me your share shootout suggestions and your thoughts at Bruce Business. Hashtag SSO. Sierra Sierra Oscar, which is different. To SOS. That's where Clive Ramitibele Smith is right now, sending SOSs, hoping somebody will pick him up out of oblivion. Until next time, as we continue to pick out a winner and shoot out the rest, have a very good evening. Good night.